In this video, I'll be showing you how saw cutting the control joints instead of forming them during the concrete finishing creates a more functional and beautiful looking garage floor. Let's look at a garage floor recently poured that has diamond sawed control joints. There's kind of a couple choices when you put in control joints here in the garage. Some people actually cut them in during the pour. We chose to do them after the pour and there's some advantage to that. If you, if you cut them in afterwards, uh, they're, they can be a little more elegant and small. I don't know if you can zoom in here a little bit, Tom. You can see that it's only a saw curve width wide and we did about three eighths or a half inch deep. And if you want to come back, you can actually caulk these joints after the fact and you can't even tell, if you use gray caulking, you can't even tell they're, they're, they're here. Um, so that, the advantage is they just seem to be a little more elegant. You can't uh, feel them when you walk or drive over them. And, and if you want to lay on a creeper and slide underneath your car, you don't have to worry about get stuck in those giant uh, curves that you, you, you put in beforehand. The biggest chunk of concrete you can have without having cracks is about 120 square feet. So, you know, about 10 by 10 is the, is the biggest you can really do. You can get maybe a little more than that. So, so we split it in half, and so it's actually about 12 feet um, by 12 feet. And then any weird place where you have an exterior sharp corner, like the case of these, this stairway here and there, you're gonna have to put a control, control joint off of these sharp points, because that's where they're, they'll crack for sure. So, that's, so we split it up into the basic four sections here, and then the exceptions where the sharp sharp points are, we added those in later. And you can see, here's the other ones we, we put in during the, the cut. These guys right here, as a nice delineation. This has actually sloped right here, uh, slightly sloped down, so water will kind of pour out that way. Cause this, the garage door is gonna land right here. So we wanted to slope that way. And it makes a better visual transition from the flat part to the slope part. And there's nothing you can do about the, the cracks. They're just going to happen. We put rebar in this, if you saw the previous video. and But that doesn't stop cracks. We still need to put the scoring lines in to, to, to force the cracks to be in locations that you want them. Control joints are placed in concrete slabs to control random tracking. The fresh concrete mixture is plastic-like fluid that can be molded into almost any shape. However, when it hardens, there will be shrinkage. Although concrete is very strong in compression, it is 10 times weaker in tensile or pulling strength. The result is cracking of the concrete. One method to control random cracking is to place control joints in the surface of the concrete in locations where they're likely to happen. The control joints weaken the concrete in predetermined straight lines, enabling cracks to follow the control joints. Since the control joint's valleys are lower than the surface, the cracks are hidden and creates an aesthetically pleasing appearance even though the cracks still do exist. If you like this video, hit subscribe and watch this next one.